Decision Day 2020 is up on us. Jamaicans took to the polls today, September 3, to decide the government for the next five years. 63 constituencies are up for grabs. Heading into the general elections, the incumbent Jamaica Labour Party has 34 seats. The opposition People's National Party, 29 seats. The polls opened at 7 and will close at 5 this afternoon, after which the preliminary counting of ballots will take place inside the polling station. Electors who are in line at 5 are allowed to vote. There are 139 candidates vying for a seat in the 63 constituencies. 63 candidates representing the Jamaica Labour Party, 63 representing the People's National Party, and 13 independent candidates. There are 108 males and 31 female candidates. The election will be observed by the local observer group Citizens Action for Free and Fair Elections Cafe and a small delegation from the European Union. All this under the cloud of the COVID-19 pandemic, which has seen a surge in recent weeks. Director of Elections Glasspole Brown says all is in place. It's an election that is different from what we've ever had yes. in our history. Um, we are operating in a pandemic environment. Um, certainly there are some other jurisdictions that uh, had their election in, in the same environment. The, the reality is that we, are, we have to operate in this environment. What we are sought to do is to uh, put into, in place a protocol, a protocol that has been agreed to in consultation with the Ministry of Health. Um, so our protocol requires that everybody um, that turns up at the police station on election day must wear their mask. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a priority. And also you'll be sanitized yes. at the entrance. What we are sought to do, though, is in order to give our electorate some level of comfort um, in the sense that we have brought on board in excess of, in excess of 7,400 persons, additional persons, and we have created a team known as the sanitization team. What that sanitization team will do in the morning is to meet you and greet you at the entrance of the polling station and to ensure that you have an amass. And then I would like to appeal to our electorate that on the day that you come to our polling station, certainly on September 3rd, that you make sure you carry your mask, have wear your mask on, and put your mask on, and you'll be sanitized, and then you'll be ushered into the polling station.